happening. COVID-19 continues to dominate the health world, right? But the CDC says cases of a respiratory virus are now growing nationwide at a very unusual time. And we're talking about RSV and local pediatricians share how to recognize the difference between RSV and COVID-19. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus, and it's most commonly seen in the fall and winter time. But pediatricians at Hannibal Regional Hospital say they have seen a lot of cases this summer because more people are gathering and getting together. Doctors say RSV is like COVID in the fact that it spreads through direct exposure to respiratory droplets and coughs and sneezes and through contact with contaminated surfaces. It causes symptoms that are similar to COVID, but pediatricians say there are some differences. I will say seeing kiddos with COVID infection, most of them aren't having significant respiratory issues, right? So some of them not even having fever, usually GI symptoms more related to that. Um, if there is respiratory issues with COVID in kids, they're typically my adolescents and above who don't typically get significant RSV bronchiolitis. So that's why for most people, the virus typically causes a cold, but for vulnerable populations like infants, the virus can cause more severe illness and even hospitalization. The CDC recommends that healthcare workers increase testing for RSV among patients who have symptoms of an acute respiratory illness, but who test negative for COVID-19. And here's some more information on this story. The CDC issued an advisory last month for healthcare workers about RSV following dramatic rise in the southern states. The CDC CDC said RSV is the most common cause of bronchiolitis, which is that lung infection and pneumonia in kids under one. And each year, RSV causes around 58,000 hospitalizations and 100 to 500 deaths among kids younger than five.